ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for bout number 16 of the show. So please welcome into the blue corner from KO South, Radislav. here takes place under C-class and Muay Thai rules. It's going to be fought over five one and a half minute rounds between Radislav Pavlovici from KO Self and Jack Butler from Jakapong Gym in Epsom. Uh, Radislav is uh, trained under Crew Sam and Carney and uh, Jack Butler trained under the Johnny Boone. Um, it should be an interesting bout with this too. Uh, Radislav coming off uh, a record of five wins and two losses uh, under N-class rules. Uh, I am unsure of Jack Butler's previous record, although I, I do know he's fought, um, having seen him uh, once or twice previously. So it should be an interesting bout with, uh, from two very good and well-respected gyms. Both fighters touch gloves. And again, nice, nice opening exchange of body punches there. Nice head kick uh, coming in from Jack. Lovely retaliation. Nice one two punch, low kick coming in from Radislav. Both fighters so far, nice equal exchange of blows there and very equal to each other. Again, Radislav really stepping forward with that body punch into the into the head kick. And Jack catching the teep against the ropes. Nice straight right there and the teep. Again, nice head kick coming in from Radislav. Really trying to impose himself, but Jack with a catching that leg and then trying trying the spinning back fist. Referee Chris Batchador. Um, warning Jack about the catch and the spinning back fist. Um, Jack st starting off the, uh, the proceedings again with a nice hook to the body, followed by a knee. Fighters with a continuous exchange of knees. Uh, referee Chris Bachelor just stopping the, getting the two fighters back out to, the, to continue the uh, fight in the centre of the ring. Nice turn if I'm against the ropes there from Jack. 
Coming into the last few seconds of the first round. That's the end of the first round. Great opening exchange from both fighters there. Very equal to each other. Uh, both of them really looking to impose themselves on this fight. Uh, both of them showing some exceptional skill levels here. Working well uh, with, the body, with the body punches to the kicks. Round two of this scheduled five round C class belt. Uh, both fighters really opening up at a fast pace with uh, some nice pu crisp punches straight into the clinch. Very equal to each other here. I can't really see if there's anybody just edging it. Fast paced fight here. Every shot is thrown with venom. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, like I was saying, it's just been both fighters are very equal to each other. They're um, both equal exchange of knees, punches, kicks. It's very hard to separate them here. I, I think this is going to go down to the wire, you know, and uh, I wouldn't want to be one of the judges. That's the thing, there's, some, uh, there's been some very, very good matchups on tonight's show. Got to give it to Matty Parks and the Exposure Show for some great matchups here. No one learns anything from a quick knockout. We're going to have tough fights against an even opponent. Nice turn in the clinch yeah. there from Jack. Good turn in knee there. Last few seconds of this round. Back straight back into the clinch. Boys want to work each other out. Scheduled five round fight. That's it. I much prefer a five one and a halves over three twos just because the scoring in Muay Thai lends itself. It is supposed to be over five rounds. So having five one and a halves is a much better idea. Three twos, you can, you can sprint it and win it when you're not necessarily the best fighter there. Strong clinch from both fighters here. It's going to be an interesting transition the further these guys get down their career, obviously being C-class. Uh, elbows and knees to the head are not permitted. Um, very rarely you see strong clinches in the C-class fight as well. So yeah. it's quite nice to see these guys obviously had some good tutorship down the years. Yeah, I was going to say, it is nice to see. I was going to say exactly that. Clinches are such a big part of Thai boxing, Muay Thai. It's a big score. These guys, C-class, but I'd say they're fighting more like B-class. Really good, strong level with both of them. Fantastic turn there. Great array of techniques from both fighters. You can see just, just how well they've been clinching each other with both fighters. Got a real red into the body. Um, oh, nice little turn and trip there.
Nice head kick there. I love that moving in with the knee there from the man in the red corner. From Jack Butler. Both these guys showing great skills. Last few seconds. Quality round again. This uh, five-round matchup between Radislav Pavlovici of KO Self and Jack Butler from Jacobon. Um, quick, quick start from that boy uh, from KO South. Very quick start coming out, firing all guns blazing. Some people don't like watching this, uh, the clinch battle, but I love it. I think it's a real, real skill. Right there, the KO boy turning around there and kneeing into the kidney. Really big score in Thai boxing. Shows really good skills. He moves this boy really well. Both of these guys here, they've got such an equal skill set. It's, it's, it's really hard to separate the both of them. Um, you know, especially from the beginning of your fight careers when you start off along the N class and the, the C class level, we, these guys have put on a fantastic display. Um, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's incredible skill from both of them. Yeah, like we said, these these guys are five one and a halfs, but they're these guys are C class, but they're fighting like B class. Very good skills, both guys. I'm, I'm impressed with both. They're both from really critical, credible gyms as well. Can speak. Yeah, and this is this is where Muay Thai is like a game of chess. It's where you use the first couple of rounds to to see what your opponent's got, and then your later rounds to really work the game. And I that's it. And this is a chess match with pain. Thing is, these guys are going at such a pace, and that. The effort that goes into this clinch work is massive. They have got to be so tired at this point. Be interested to see who's got steam in the last rounds. Well, here it is, the fifth and final round of this C-Class Muay Thai battle between Radislav Pavlovici and Jack Butler. And um, again, this round started with some fantastic intensity. Yeah, you've, uh, got to, you've got to give it to these guys. They are absolute athletes. They've been going at it from the word go. People, it's, nobody realizes how tough it is. Unless you've been in there, you do not realize how tough it is to clinch for this long. These guys are working hard all the way through. This is not easy. You see uh, Jack Butler there sporting the Thai tattoos across his neck. I don't know if he spent time in Thailand or if that's just a tribute to the sport. Again, massive, massive energy going into this. Both fighters though, knee for knee, turning uh, each other. The Rad kill. Radislav just, just imposing himself just a little bit on me in that there, just maybe yeah. slightly stronger in the clinch, exposing Jack's back. I'd say, I'd say uh, Radislav from KO Bloodline is just uh, using the, uh, sorry, KO South, just working that little bit harder in the clinch. I would, I would give him the edge on this battle at the moment. But going into this round, I feel that these guys were neck and neck. I'm not a judge. I wouldn't want to be a judge for this. Very, very tough.
going to be down to this last round, though, in my view. Oh, again, a big turn. Just to give you an idea as to the level that these guys are. Wow, I mean, that was a great fight, you've got to say. The whole crowd here is literally, I just see people filming this one bout. Fantastic, fantastic fight from both of these two young lads. Yeah, great fight. Both, both should be proud of themselves. Ladies 